Hello everyone, Steve here from Tech Toy Tinker and Retro Arena. I just wanted to introduce you guys to a theme I've been working on for the Windows Emulation Station build. I called it Retro Commercial. It might actually work in Linux too, I just haven't tried it yet. But we're going to take a look at it here. I'm going to have to go through and try to touch these videos up. It's just a work in progress theme currently. One thing I want to point out early in the video, because some people will tune out by the end, because this is probably going to be a long video. You can go into there's different colors. There's green, gray, orange, purple, red, yellow. Let's go with yellow just as an example. Now, you notice nothing changed but this. Those are all for what color you want to be a backdrop behind the uh, game listings. Also, you can change the grid size and you can also change the background color. So if you want it to be red, like so, see? What you're looking at is a first color, sound, graphics, uh -oh. power, all at a price that allows the creative mind to reach its full potential. I never found out why he chose me to share his secret. Perhaps because we had similar dreams. This, this was twice as fast. I feel that this theme works really well with retro gaming. So basically I'm going to have to go through, try to touch up the videos a bit, <clears throat> make them a little better quality, and normalize the audio. I will put a link to this in the description of this video, but just know it's a work in progress, it's not a finished theme yet. If anybody wants to, or has any sources to a uh, better quality, hook me up please. Also introduced the next generation of video game systems, the new 7800, and it was an immediate smash hit. When it comes to home computers, the Atari home computer gets high grades. I use an Atari at home, and I, I use it for word processing and to teach myself other programming languages. Discover the incredible power of the Atari 520ST. For Atmos Wave, I couldn't. There's not really a commercial or an advertisement, so I've got a recording of some of a real Sammy machine being played. Same with Shahiro, I haven't found a good commercial or arcade view yet. To match the higher intelligence 
of the new Commodore 128. An Apple IIc would have to add three more IIcs to expand to 512K. And that... IBM calls this a personal computer and says a person can afford it, yet it's over $1,500. Apple says computing is a revolution that can't be missed, but at $1,500... I think I'd be bothered by the low quality of some of the really old 80s videos more if this wasn't for retro purposes. That was kind of what TVs looked like almost back then, especially with a VHS recording. Microsoft Raps. <laughs> I'm not going to play the whole video, it's like four minutes long, but if you want to download the theme and watch it, feel free. I know a lot of you know this commercial. Ethan Suppley of Mallrats. He's in a lot of other stuff as well, but Mallrats is one of my favorite movies growing up. Karu's the same, haven't found... A lot of the arcade stuff is hard to find actual live arcade play footage of. Stern Electronics introduces its newest form of coin-operated entertainment, Cliffhanger, an exciting, challenging animated film video game on Laserdisc. When you get hold of the Nintendo Entertainment System, when you master Rob, the video robot, the challenge of gyromite. When you shoot the light sensing zapper, when you play the system with so many art. MAME is a little difficult also just because it's not <clears throat> it's not one system, it's just a representation of almost all arcade. So I went with this, because I feel like this release was also a great representation of the arcade days. I remember when Mortal Kombat 3 came out and I was ecstatic about it. Let me know in the comments if any of you were uh, as excited as I was as a kid to get your hands on MK3. So I'm convinced that during this period of time, Sega did a lot of drugs. And the reason I say that is because who thinks of this? And Nintendo answered them at one point. I might have used that Nintendo video too. We'll see. Give him the power to journey into the mega world. 
with thousands of colors, 16-bit graphic technology. Step away from the vehicle. What you need, son, is a f***ed up the hooter. Computer's gonna cost me a leg and an arm. Nothing to shave a pack. They can't. Cost me. I haven't found a video for this either yet. Found one for this one. Anybody recognize the fact they were playing the PSX big massive console there? As you can see by the video length here, the, this theme is very robust. It's got lengthy videos in it. Because my goal when I build these things is to help preserve the library and the history of retro gaming. And so I feel like having a theme with the authentic system commercials, or com computer commercials in some cases, I should say, in that only helps to further that goal. In a way, what I'm trying to say is sitting here watching the advertisement from when the console was being released, kind of before you start playing with the library of it, 
it kind of gives you more of a nostalgic feeling, especially if you were around in that generation and you remember these commercials and they got you excited about the console. So it's a, a combination of nostalgia with authenticity. This is the only ad for Satellaview I could find, and yes, I know that it's not very good quality. It's going to be hard to fix this one. Anybody remember this guy? Audio on this one is really quiet. When you decide to step up to this kind of power, this kind of challenge, this kind of flying, This is the system chosen two to one over Atari and in television for real arcade gameplay. Fantastic! Present Flyby does a video game from Atari or in television. Invest in the wonder computer of the 1980s for under three hundred dollars. The Commodore Vic Twenty. It came from the third dimension. I'm going to have to find a video without a watermark, but supervision videos are very hard to locate. Anybody remember this commercial? This was a pretty iconic 360 commercial back in the day. The Xbox One was too, but I remember it being removed from TV eventually. The original Xbox One. You'll see when you watch it. It's not terrible, just... And we're back to where we started. So, let me know what you guys think of the theme. And uh, also, if you have any access to better quality commercials from the 80s or early 90s stuff. Um, I'm going to release the work in progress stuff now. 
along with this video. And as I work through it and touch it up, you'll be able to just drag and drop the theme over top and replace everything and it'll just automatically work. As always, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hope you enjoyed the video. Take care.